Hello there. Yeah, I know that you're not supposed to go out and about in a time like this. But what are you going to do when uh, when the weather is nice? Yeah, the weather's uh, fine right now. I just wish the uh, the sun would come out. Yeah. I just wanted to go out for a short walk, and the reason why I'm filming with my uh, phone is because, guess what? I forgot to charge my uh, camera. Never heard that sound before. Sounds like some sort of uh, bird-like creature from Star Wars, or sounds like the uh, sound that the Gucko birds from uh, the Bionicle series would make. Anyway, so I wanted to, uh, to talk about this for a long time, but I never really got around to it. And in case you're wondering what that shaky noise is, it's the uh, ice in my water cup. Yeah. I wanted to talk about the uh, the characters that I would love to see or see come back in a Mario spinoff. And while we uh, walk up the road, I'll tell you who the first character is. Yeah. Yeah, that sound is uh, coming from that building. It's just some guy cutting a rock or might be doing some uh, woodworking. Yeah, just cutting away. Anyway, speaking of wood, what the uh, the first character that I want to see appear in a Mario spinoff game is none other than, and this may surprise you, Gino. From Super Mario RPG. Some, uh, driver in a white Jeep Grand Cherokee. I don't get that. Why do uh, people nowadays always buy cars that are boring cars? Anyway, so let's get back to talk about Gino. Gino is a character who I believe only ever appeared in uh, Super Mario RPG. He is this uh, Pinocchio looking dude that is made of wood and it's like if uh, Pinocchio became a wizard. It's pretty cool and interesting. Oh, there's this, the sun's coming back out. Yeah. Super Mario RPG, as far as I know, never had a sequel, although many fans have made sequels to Super Mario RPG. And uh, that is, I think the reason why that is, is, well, Squaresoft, which will become later known as Square Enix, probably ended their uh, relationship with uh, Nintendo. Yeah, Square Enix get back with their uh, relationship to Nintendo so they can release a, a sequel to Super Mario RPG instead of releasing another crappy Final Fantasy game. Yeah. It's a pretty good game. Although, uh, I don't have one in my collection yet. A copy of Super Mario RPG. I wish I had a copy of Super Mario RPG in my collection. Dogs barking. And uh, not even the, uh, Mario and Luigi games can hold a candle to it. Although, one of the uh, things that I don't like about the game is the way that they uh, downplayed Bowser, also known as King Koopa, who is the, uh, the well-established main villain of the game. Instead, the main villain of Super Mario RPG is, uh, if I remember correctly, the Smithy Gang, led by some sort of weird dude named Smithy. Yeah, kind of sad that they uh, downplayed the main antagonist of uh, Mario. 
Still a good game though. I think I remember playing it on a SNES emulator. And I liked it. Anyways, let's move on to the next guy. Yeah, there's a Ford truck over there. Yeah. The next guy, I mean the next character that I would love to see appear in Mario spin-offs is Rob the Robot. Yeah. I remember playing as Rob in uh, Mario Kart DS, and he's easily my favorite character in the game. Rob is a pretty cool addition to uh, Mario Kart DS, in my opinion. And playing as a robot is always cool. Rob also made an appearance in the uh, Smash Bros game, but uh, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that though. You always uh, play as Rob in uh, Smash Bros, and I believe Rob also made a, uh, a famous appearance in one of the episodes in the Angry Video Game Nerd. Although that uh, episode has no. Uh, connection with the world of Nintendo aside from uh, some references. Yeah. Love to play as Rob the Robot in uh, Mario Kart, the next the next Mario Kart game if it ever comes out. And uh, love to see him as a DLC character in Mario Tennis Aces. He would be cool to play as in those games. Anyways, let's uh, move on to the next character and uh, this is a pretty obscure choice for anybody who's played Mario games. Before I eat my banana, before the banana to all the way. Anyways, mm, this is a good banana. The third character that I want to see in the uh, here in Mario spinoffs is Azalea for Mario Golf. Well, for those of you who don't know, Azalea is a character who appeared in the Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color and then appeared in the uh, sequel to Mario Golf on the Game Boy Advance. Can't remember what the name of it is. Yeah. Azalea is a. Uh, A good character that never gets mentioned a lot in the Mario community. I'm kind of uh, surprised. In fact, she's Daisy's sister, so it would make perfect sense for her to appear in Mario Kart alongside Princess Daisy and, uh, and Mario Tennis Aces as DLC. And uh, if there happens to be an Another Mario Golf game. Yeah. I'm surprised that not too many people mention her, and she's a good character. It's a good banana. <clears throat> I always love bananas, they're good for you. Especially at a time like this. Anyways, let's move on to the next character. Yeah, the next character that I want to see in Pure Mario spin-offs is, well, it's actually two characters, the, uh, the Gamer Boy 9 Faults and uh, the Gamer Mom 5 Faults. The reason why I wanted to see these two appear is because, well, I don't think they have appeared in any uh, Mario spin-offs. Yeah, aside from Mona, I'm going to mention her as well. 5 Volt has been the... Uh, and, of course, let's not forget Ashley. Fivefold has been one of the most popular WarioWare characters to date. Yeah, she's a uh, gamer mom. And, uh... Some of my friends love her. Yeah. I'm surprised, uh... 
No one has ever tried to uh, get 5 volt to appear in Maria. Tennis Aces as DLC. Considering her uh, boom in popularity in recent times. She's went from being this obscure character that you only ever see in WarioWare Twisted in the Shadows and Game of Wario is a character who appears in the uh, gamer minigame to being a, uh, a fairly popular character in the WarioWare series. that people, of course, uh, love to make fan arts of. Yeah, 9 Volt is uh, a little boy who, of course, would be great, best suited for a uh, lightweight class in uh, the Mario Kart games. So both of these characters are actually uh, great for Mario spin-offs. But enough talk about the vaults. We're going to be talking about this character. This character up next. <laughs> you knew I had to mention him. It's King K. Rule. I mean, it's friggin' King K. Rule. He's appeared in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But I've yet to see him appear in uh, Mario Kart. Although I think he might have appeared in Mario Tennis Aces. I don't think so yet. I'm not sure, but I'll have to check back on it. I think it might be Pauline that uh, appeared in Mario Tennis Aces as DLC. Anyways, King K. Rule. Yeah, he's the main villain of Donkey Kong Country. And he's this uh, crocodile guy that's. Oh, big and burly, and best suited for heavyweight class alongside uh, Bowser and his uh, nemesis Donkey Kong. It's King K. Rule, leader of the Kremlings, the crocodile-like creatures. <laughs> you don't want to see him behind the rearview mirror while you're playing Mario Kart. Yeah. King K. Rule is a great choice for uh, Mario spin-offs. I mean, come on, it's King K. Rule. The main villain of Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong Country series. You can't go wrong. Not much to say here, so let's move on. Oh look, there's the, uh, the Ford Aerostar over there. See it right there. It's a, uh, it's a good van. It's a good minivan. And one of the best ones that uh, Ford has ever made. Anyways, the next characters that I've been wanting to see in the... Mario spin-offs. Of course, they're not really Mario characters, but they're still uh, properties owned by Nintendo, so you have a potential of them being in a crossover. Yeah. Kirby and Meta Knight. I think Meta Knight is a, a villain in, Kirby, in the Kirby series, probably the uh, one of the main villains. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Meta Knight would be great for uh, Mario Kart DLC. And so will uh, Kirby. Kirby is the, uh, the cute pink thing that everyone knows about. And obviously, he needs no interaction. Because everyone knows him. Even I do. Yeah. Both characters are pretty uh, interesting uh, characters to add in the Mario spin-offs and have the uh, potential to be in a crossover. Let's uh, move on to the 
other Kirby character that we're going to talk about. Robot or not, the next character that I want to see in Mario Smith is Susie Hoffman. She appeared in the Kirby Robobot. Although there's been a debate about if she's a, uh, a robot or not. Some say she's a robot, some say she's not a robot. But still, you can't go wrong with adding her in the Mario spinoffs. And at least she's a, a better choice of character than the babies and friggin' Pink Gold Peach. I mean, come on, Pink Gold Peach? Couldn't you come up with any other better ideas than that? Pink Gold Peach. Yeah. I think I can tell that they were obviously running out of ideas with that one. Susie Hoffman, good character to add in those games. And I think her uh, cart would be some sort of uh, futuristic cover car, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, not much to say here, so let's move on to the last character that I want to see appear in Mario spinoffs. And this is a must. See the cars come by. Why are there so many cars in a freaking pandemic? I mean, there shouldn't be this many cars in the event of a pandemic, especially when it's a state of emergency. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. Oh man, I really wanted to go in there and uh, praise the Lord. I kid. But still, you gotta praise our Lord. I sometimes like to go to church. Not a big fan of it, but sometimes like to go to church and uh, praise our Lord. Yeah, there's a Ford Focus there. Asking for uh, 8,500 of it. It's in a pretty uh, tip top shape. And I think it looks better than the kind of car that my uh, mama drives. There's also another uh, Ford there that's uh, not for sale. Ford Taurus. Yeah. I don't know why people, some people think these cars are ugly. I think they look good. Yeah, it's definitely uh, sleek and stylish. I like those uh, bug eyes. Yeah, it's a very nice car. Interior is in pretty good condition for uh, a car made in the 90s. Better scoot out of here. In case you wondered, that sound, that famous fart can sound, came from that car over there, the Honda Civic. You can barely see it, but it came from that blue frigging Honda Civic. So this is our uh, final resting place. Yeah. At least uh, Cookway is still open. I always let to stop there sometime. Yeah. Anyways, the uh, the last character that I would love to see appear in Mario spinoffs is, well, it's pretty obvious. You all know who it is. It's Mona. Yeah. Look at there. There's more songs over there. I wanted to, just wanted to uh, show to you guys. Yeah, you can't eat in. It's take out only. Oh man, I really want to sit down and relax. I kid. You can't really do that in times like these. Anyway, so. Uh, I've always wanted to see Mona appear in a Mario spinoff. Never got to see her at all. 
I never even got to see her appear as a playable character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah. I always wanted to see Mona appear in Mario Kart Mario Tennis Aces as a DLC character and all kinds of other Mario spin-offs, but never really got to see her. Yeah, she, as you can tell, she's my waifu. Yeah, she's this uh, hot redhead that uh, has appeared in pretty much all installments of the uh, WarioWare series of games, except for uh, WarioWare DIY Showcase. But that game doesn't really count since it's basically an extension of uh, WarioWare DIY. Yeah. You could tell I love her. And I've made many commissions uh, that feature her because I love her. Yeah. One of my favorite Mario waifus alongside Princess Daisy. And uh, it's not only just me that loves her, someone that I know of loved her so much that he made a petition for her to appear in uh, Mario spin-offs. The link is uh, down in the description if you're uh, interested in signing the petition at all. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, good things about her. She wears a lot of outfits, she has a good personality, and rides on a friggin' Vespa. A friggin' red Vespa. What's not to like about her? Seriously. There's a lot to like about Mona. She's a great character. Oh, crap! I think they saw me! <laughs> Dang cops! Oh, we're probably gonna send out the SWAT team, so... It's best that I run away. They're probably gonna catch me for... ...having the, uh... Corona. I don't have the coronavirus. I have the SWAT team, so... Yeah. I'll see you when we, uh... ...when we go home. We'll talk about... ...updates. Okay. Come on, me. Head back home. That was close. <sighs> Man. I not only encountered the, uh, the police and the SWAT team, but the military as well. Seems they really want you to stay home as much as you can. Anyways, I'm going to tell you some uh, updates. Alright, the first update is, uh... Well, I'm actually uh, planning on doing a series of top blank to do... I mean, to uh, blank while in quarantine videos. Yeah, I have some of those planned, and the first one that, uh... I've planned this top 10 first person shooter games to play while under quarantine. Or top 10 shooter games to play while under quarantine. Yeah. I'm also going to do uh, various other videos as well. And of course, just in case you're wondering, no, the uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. Let's Play series is not cancelled. I still have it uh, 
I still have it on. It's just that I haven't made a uh, video in that series in a long time. And the reasoning for that is because, well, I'm going to uh, buy a DVD RAM disc from eBay. You know, uh, I don't want to waste any of my uh, DVDs, and I have a stack of them. So, uh, the DVD RAM disc is going to be uh, used specifically for the Let's Plays. Yeah, those are the uh, two most important updates I wanted to tell, share to you guys, and uh, I hope you stay safe and watch out for the corona. See you later, alligator.